It was 20 years ago, 34-year-old Tim Milgate was killed in his parents' home in Greece. His murder is still unsolved, but his family's fight to keep his memory alive and find the killer continues. 13 Wamps Patrice Walsh tells us who is now leading that crusade that was started by Tim Milgate's sister. Doug, on her deathbed last fall after a brave battle with cancer, Debbie Bil Milgate Moyer told her youngest daughter she loved her and she told her to stay blonde. Then she told her to keep fighting and make sure all the charity work she started in Tim's honor went off with, quote, a bang. She was an angel on earth. Like mother, like daughter, Jackie Moyer shares not only her mother's good looks and smile, but also her passion for helping people. I'm not doing it to be her. I don't want to be my mom, but if I could be somewhere close to the woman that she was, I think that I would be proud of myself. Moyer had no idea how much her mother did until she moved back home and tried to carry on the work her mother started. Nothing was ever enough for her. She never felt like she was doing enough for the community or to keep my uncle's story alive. It was her life. It started with Uncle Tim. She was nine when her Uncle Tim was killed, but she remembers it vividly. The police cars and the interviews. Debbie Milgate Moyer didn't live to see her brother's killer caught, but her daughter says it will happen. We don't believe in letting it die. We, we believe in fighting for justice and that one day it will be served and those people will be known. But they'll have their day in court and they'll have to face the family. Until then, Moyer will keep fighting and keep raising money, just like her mother. She's lining up gifts, prizes, and golfers for the Cheshire Millgate Classic Golf Tournament that was started by her mother 17 years ago. And that was her dream, and it may take a whole team versus that one woman that could conquer the world. This is a picture from last year's tournament, which Debbie was able to attend. This year will be the first without her. It will be dedicated to her, and they hope to raise $20,000 for Golisano Children's Hospital and Wilmot Cancer Center, where Debbie was treated. It was her tournament. It was her life, and that's what she lived for. Her daughter carrying on her work, Debbie Milgate Moyer, always told her family she thought she knew who the killer was. Family members say there is DNA evidence, and they say police are still investigating, so they're hopeful it will be solved. That golf tournament, by the way, is July 27th at Deerfield Country Club. We have more information on that at 13wham.com. Jenny? All right, thank you, Patrice.